Mother's Prey Community Circle, all your moms and dads. We are going to put a performance on of a typical day in the rainforest. Our narrator, please stand up. And here we are with Aussie, the clever kinkajou. Near the river, a crocodile is saying himself on the bank. Two howling monkeys are at the edge of the water drinking with the other animals. In the rainforest, many years ago, the little yellow cat, he was long, he was tall, be very, very thin. Would you look at Ozzy? Every time I see him, he looks skinnier. Maybe he's on a diet. Mommy and Abuela told me that for a cat, he's a terrible hunter. He hardly can do this for Hi, Aussie. How are you today? Not too good, Kayla Crocodile. The only thing that I caught on morning was a beetle. Everything else saw me come in and ran away. Perhaps he could help you. Do you really think so? I've tried everything else and I'm still the worst hungry cat in the rainforest and the hungriest. Hi, Aussie. I overheard what you said, and I can tell you that the king did help me a whole lot. He showed me how to roll up into a wall to protect myself. He helps me too, Aussie. He told me to stop cleaning the fur and let the algae grow in it. Now, no one can spot me hanging from a branch. I don't think anybody can help me, Sophie, but I'll go talk with the Kinkajou anyway. Greetings, Aussie. Where are you going? Clever Kinkajou, have you seen him? I sure have, Aussie. He just helped me solve a big problem. You know how often I bite my nose by mistake whenever I eat? Well, the Kinkajou just showed me how to get it out of the way. He's right over there resting under the lake. Er, uh, excuse me, Clever Kinkajou, but I need your help. You see, I have a strange problem for it. Sit down and rest, Ozzy, and have something to eat. I am glad you came to see me because I know your problem. You do? Of course. I can tell just by looking at you that you have a problem of finding something to eat. That's right. I can tell just by looking at you, by telling the problem is, and I know just how to solve it. Can you get you? Um, oh, can could you please tell me? I will, but first promise to do it. Everything I say, even if it sounds strange. I promise, can could you? Then listen closely to what I'm going to tell you. Aussie's back at the river. Boris, a huge bush pig, is drinking at the river's edge. He does not see Aussie. Aussie takes a few nervous steps towards Boris, then backs away. He tries it again, but he backs away again. The third time, he sneaks right up behind Boris. What an ugly beast you are. You must be the ugliest beast in the rainforest. How dare you, you? How dare you, you? Scrawny cat, I'll teach you some matters. <laughs> Force charged Ozzy and tossed 
him into the mighty river. Shoot, that was scary, and I have mud spots all over me. Mom can hire the wash myself, maybe later. Ozzy wakes up and stretches. He shakes himself several times to loosen the mud spots, but they did not come off. He tries to lick himself clean, but the spots won't come off. Now he's a spotted cat. What is this? I wash it and wash it. These spots won't come off. You know, these don't look so bad. And he never went hungry again.